No pore zone. Ma you gotta be kidding me. Hey guys, CC back with another video. And for today's video, we are going to do our February makeup haul. me or my channel just make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Camellia Yvette and also subscribe to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley Party of Six so what's up y'all I am back with my monthly beauty haul and I got a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so this is probably gonna be a long one. Strapping, go get a snack, all that good stuff. We got a lot to talk about. I went to Sephora, Ulta, Target, and the beauty supply store. So I got some things for y'all, okay? <laughs> I went to a few different places, so there's a lot of stuff sitting here on the table. Before we get started, I do wanna shout out our sponsor for today's video. Thank you so much to Top Cashback for sponsoring this video. You guys know I've worked with them several, I don't know, it's been like four or five times in the past. Such a great company. Basically, Top Cashback is a cashback website where you shop on their website like you would normally. So so if I want to shop at Sephora, which we have a bunch of things from Sephora here today, if I want to shop at Sephora, I will simply go to the Top Cashback website, type in Sephora, they will have a certain percentage of cash back. Like at the time I'm filming this video, Sephora is 7% cash back, which basically means if I spend $100, then I will get $7 put into my Top Cash Back account. So once you get to the Top Cash Back website, you click on Sephora and it takes you to the actual Sephora website that you already shop at and then you just shop like normal and the cash back goes into your account. It is totally free to sign up, super easy. All you need is an email address and password like everything else and you're ready to go. So Top Cashback is partnered with over 4,000 retailers. All of our favorite retailers, you know, some of my favorites being Sephora and Ulta, which again, I have a lot of stuff from there as well. But so many different retailers are on Top Cashback and it's just so easy to use, free and easy to sign up. I've been using Top Cashback for years. I've been talking to you guys about Top Cashback for years. Their link is always in the description box down below so you can sign up. Right now, they are giving a $10 welcome bonus if you sign up and spend $25 on whatever site they are partnered with. Again, they're partnered with over 4,000. I know y'all shopping online like I am, so if you're gonna shop anyway, you might as well get cash back plus that $10 welcome bonus. Top Cashback also does not have a minimum payout, so other cashback sites may have to wait. There may be a threshold, there may be a time limit, like you can only cash out per quarter or per month, or if you get to 50 or $100, Top Cashback is not like that. You can cash out at any time, and you can cash out for gift cards as well as cash. Super amazing, super easy. Links in the description box, check them out. So like I said, I did get stuff from several different places, but let's start with Sephora. First thing I got, which I'm super excited about, is their brand new best skin ever. This is the, I'm trying to open it before I even show y'all. This is the Sephora, um, the Sephora brand new foundation. This is the best skin ever foundation. I've been seeing so many people talk about this. I cannot wait to try this out. You guys, my video schedule for this month is filling up so fast. So I may have to do this on my Instagram. Like I used to do all these foundation reviews on my Instagram. I may have to bring that back because not sure if I'm to be able to squeeze it into the YouTube schedule but you guys will see this foundation one way or another so I got this foundation in the shade 33.5 Y so that's 33.5 and that's yellow I got it originally in 44.5 but that um, just like didn't pan out for me it was too dark so I ended up going with this one and um, this might be a little light well I don't know look at it Oh, that actually might be perfect. Oh no, that blended in really well. Okay, that might be perfect. Okay, so that's 33. 
0.5Y. That looks like it's a great shade for me. I cannot wait to try this foundation. I haven't heard one way or the other if it's good, but Sephora has been putting a lot of like, they've been putting a lot on this little baby. So I'm excited to see how that works. Similarly, I'm really excited because I did get the new Huda Beauty foundation. I posted this on my Instagram whenever it came last week and you guys like went crazy. It was like, review, review, review. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I hear y'all. So there will definitely be a YouTube review on this guy. And this is the brand new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I have no idea what a luminous matte foundation is. This one I got in the shade 420G Toffee. So you guys know I have her original foundation. I have, well I had her stick foundation and I didn't like that at all and I took it back. So I'm really excited to see how this works. So the beauty about this foundation is that it's supposed to be fragrance free. Y'all know, all Huda Beauty products have this strong fragrance. So this one's supposed to be fragrance free. I'm not gonna open it, I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna swatch it, cause we're gonna save it all for the video. But it will be coming up very, very, very soon. And I'm just so interested to see what a luminous matte, like what does that, how do you do luminous and matte at the same damn time? I don't know, but we gonna figure it out. I grabbed the, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 2. So I do have the original, I'm actually wearing the original right now on my face, it's somewhere around here. But this is Volume 2, and I think this is a little deeper. Let's look. Okay, so this is it right here. I love the Hourglass powders and just the, the finish that it gives. Like my face has been actually looking really good all day, and that's the only setting powder that I used. So let's pull out, here it is right here. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette, the original. Yeah, so this one's deeper. So this is the original, and then this is a volume two. So just a little deeper. So I'm interested to see how those, well, how this one will work on my face. We have some new products from Anastasia. Um, if you guys actually watched my last vlog, then you would have seen this already, but I did end up picking up her, her new highlighter. So it looks like this. This is the Iced Out Highlighter. Very gorgeous. It has almost this like goldish tint to it. So pretty. It's like a goldish, goldish tint. Then she also came out with the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. Now this is just a clear styling wax. I'm pretty sure I could have used like a hair gel or something. I probably have something like this, I don't know, but I was interested whenever I saw she was coming out with it, so I ended up picking it up. That whole soap brow, bushy brow trend, I'm gonna give that a try. I feel like I've been doing my makeup the same way for so long, and I have so many new techniques that I've been seeing that I just wanna just give a whirl on my face and see how it looks. I feel like I've gotten to the point where I've mastered my makeup and I know what looks good, and I kinda stick with that, but that's boring, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll see what happens. Then I got one product from the new JLo Beauty line. This is called That Star Filter. It's an instant complexion booster. Highlight bronze diffuse. That's what it's supposed to do. And this one is in the shade 24 karat glow inside and it is warm bronze. So it looks like this, very pretty. I love the packaging. And yeah, let's, let's look at this one. So it's a liquid, I thought it was a spray. So let's just talk about that there. Thought it was a spray. This seems like one of those products that you're gonna be able to mix in with your like foundation or really anything that you want to just give a little glow to. Yeah, because I can see my skin glowing right there. You can kind of see the difference between this side of my this side of my hand, which has the product, and then this side of my hand, which does it. You could definitely kind of see the difference there. And it, it does like just bump up the glow, but it's not greasy. It almost dried down to like a matte almost. Yeah, I love that. Okay. All right, all right, all right, J-Lo. 
And then last but not least from Sephora, I picked up the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. And this is what it looks like. I ended up getting mine in the shade 4N, so 4 neutral. And the premise of this is one side is the corrector or concealer side. So if you have any blemishes on your face, you can go ahead and correct all of those on up. And that's cool. And then they have the brighten side where if you want to like brighten any spots on your face, like underneath the eyes or anything like that, you can do it with this side. So I like this because it's kind of a two in one. I envisioned using this during one of those like no makeup makeup days you know what I mean where you just maybe you have a, a pimple or something or a mark that you just want to cover real quick but then you also want to get under your eyes and just brighten and lift everything and then you just throw some powder on and you go out the door that's how I envisioned using this product so um yeah I might have to do like a quick little no makeup makeup everyday look or something but that's that's how I see using that all right, let's move on to Ulta because there's a lot of stuff from Ulta here, okay? A whole lot. So first things first, I grabbed this new, I actually have a few mascaras in this haul, okay? So this is the new Air Volume Mascara from L'Oreal. If L'Oreal don't do nothing else right, they make some good mascaras, okay? So I've been seeing so many people talk about this mascara and just how amazing it is for the lashes. So we're going to uh, test that baby out. I got a sponge from EcoTools. This is their new Fresh Perfecting Blender. Um, just another blending sponge. Did I need another one? No. Did I get one? Yes. <laughs> More foundation here. I kind of went foundation crazy, complexion crazy, really, in this haul. So this is the L'Oreal Paradise, the Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. Now, for something like this, I feel like I have another maybe three months to use this because after that, that's when the weather is going to start getting warmer. Well, it's only February. March, April, May. So probably another four months to use this. And then after that, um, it, I'll probably just be a big ball of grease. Now, I've never used this. I don't know if it's going to make me greasy, so don't make me lie. However, usually tinted moisturizers, me and tinted moisturizers just don't get along. So, um, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I got it in medium three, so we'll, we'll see. Then on top of that, I picked up a new CoverGirl foundation. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. It's in the shade Classic Tan. That's my, like, CoverGirl shade. But um, it's supposed to give you 24-hour coverage, and it also has SPF 18 in it. So protect you a little bit from the sun, gives you crazy coverage. It's supposed to last all day. So very excited to see how this wears as well. Okay, what we got? I got a few primers. I got three primers. Why do I have three primers? I don't know. First one being the new NYX The Marshmallow Primer. Heard a couple people talking about this and they had a little mini. Y'all know how I get about my minis. So I did pick one of those up. And then I picked up the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. So this has lily and bamboo extracts in it. And yeah, no pore zone. Ma you gotta be kidding me. Y'all, I'm just now reading this. So this says, this is the same primer that they had already that I had. The one in the black packaging, they just added this no pore zone. It says it's the same, or new look, same great formula. So I already know how this works. I like it. Do I still have it? I might have given it away. But I love this primer. I just didn't need it again. I Okay. This is what happens when I just go picking stuff out, y'all. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I got another one from Pure Cosmetics. It's the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. And I got another little mini. So it just looks like this. This is supposed to be an anti-blemish plus mattifying acne treatment. I had something like this from Cover FX, a primer that I really liked. It was a mattifying primer and it also had like skin benefits in it to stop breakouts. So I, I just think that's a really cool thing to mesh together, skincare and primer, you know, and it makes sense. So I just got the little mini to try it out. I think this is like eight bucks. So, you know, no, no harm, no foul if it doesn't work as well as I'd like, but I'm hoping it works. 
concealer. We got two concealers here. One being the new, um, this is the new Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. And it's supposed to be all day full coverage. I got mine in the shade Medium Honey. So I got that to highlight underneath the eyes. We'll give it a whirl. Y'all, we're going to do a huge declutter very soon. Like the more I'm talking about these products out loud, the more I'm like, we got to do a declutter because I have too much stuff. And then I need to organize this room. That's off topic, but y'all, y'all know, y'all know. Anyway, I also picked up the, what is this? The Revolution Eye Bright. I'm so excited about this. This is in the shade medium, but this concealer is supposed to be bomb. I have two makeup revolution maybe three makeup revolution concealers that i absolutely love like that are just blow me away out of this world so when they came out with the eye bright i said yes i need it in my life it's illuminating it's supposed to be hydrating up under the eyes love me a hydrating concealer so i can't wait to try this one i'm like hype about this one right here what else we got two mascaras one the wet and wild big papa like oh she cute ain't she and she's big it says this one is very very volumizing 500 plus crimped bristles that catch every single lash that's what it says on on the on the packaging <laughs> then i got the new essence 20 forever 24 ever bold volume mascara so just another volumizing mascara i feel like a lot of my mascaras are just getting old i open too many at one time so it's time for me to start cycling them out so it's time to try some new ones I've also been wearing my natural lashes a lot more lately. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I feel like in half my videos I have lashes on. The other half I have my natural lashes, and that's what I have today. I think today I used the um, Better Than Sex mascara. I think that's what I used today, but um, yeah, I've been wearing my natural lashes just a lot more. Some of it I just don't want to, I don't feel like fooling with lashes every single time I, I film or go out. So that's been half the reason. And then the other half, I'm just really liking more simple, subdued looks lately. So that's kind of where I am. But anyway, let's talk about, speaking of lashes, I got two new lash glues. I got one from Kiss. It's the Strip Lash Adhesive. This does not have the brush tip though, which I don't really rock with lash glues that don't have like the brush tip applicator but i thought i would try this i have tried the duo glue i don't know how many times and it just does not work for me i don't like it 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 drives me up the wall so yeah it drives me absolutely crazy so i mean yeah i hate that duo glue and so i picked this up i couldn't remember what i was about to say i picked this up when i was at um ulta and i said okay i'll try this one it doesn't have the brush tip but it's by kiss brand and i love their lash glue so i'm gonna try that one and then i'm also going to try this one from ilore and it's the 18 hour clear finish lash glue so i'm gonna get that one as well and 18 hours i feel like that means it's pretty sticky you know what i mean so i shouldn't have trouble with the corners lifting or anything is this a brush tip i think this one is a brush tip score this one is a brush tip yeah that's your black lips are you filming a video i am yeah i'm in it <laughs> i'm in it i'm in it find your bonnet okay. love you Thank you. All right, two blushes from e.l.f. These are their new putty blushes. And this one is in the shade Bali. Like how pretty of a shade is that? I wonder how pigmented these are. Cause this one's in the shade Caribbean and just look at the deep colors. Like online did not do these any justice whatsoever. Let's swatch these. I've been trying not to swatch stuff because this video is already going to be extra long, but I can't help it. This one's Bali, and it's like that brick red. Like online just did this no justice. Oh, but it, it, so look, it blends in really nicely. It almost blends out to a powder finish too, like. So it looks super pigmented, but then it blends out really pretty. Okay, okay, okay. This might be a good thing. These might be really, really nice. I need to, 
this is why I need to do a declutter and organize this room because things are everywhere and I'm just not using my makeup and I feel like like I'm gonna put these in the drawer and they're gonna get lost in the sauce and I'm gonna forget to use them so I have to declutter soon y'all I have to I wish y'all could just come over and help me like for real I wish we could all be friends hang out and y'all could just come over and help me out and oh that would make me so happy that would make me so happy anyway I got two more products from wet and wild and the first one is the brow obsessive brow pencil it's a regular pencil I actually thought it was a mechanical pencil but it's a regular pencil which I don't normally like but I haven't used one in a very long time I'm talking years so maybe I will but it's in the shade dark brown and it's just a, a brow pencil with the spoolie on the end so it's one of their new products I also picked up their 10 pan palette here this is the color icon 10 pan palette in the shade call me sunshine and this is how they do their 10 pan palettes they've changed um they've changed um packaging over the years like several times over the years since i've been doing makeup and gotten into their 10 pan palettes and so i guess this is the new packaging for all the 10 pan palettes all right let's move into target honey target we got several things from target that i'm really excited about first thing is this from elf i told y'all with complexion crazy so this is the elf skin no that's not what it's called this is the camo cc cream is what it is i heard this is actually a dupe for the it cosmetic cc cream i had the it cosmetic cc cream it was okay i just never used it so i think i sold it or something but this is the elf version so we're gonna try it out this one i got in the shade tan 425 neutral so this has neutral golden undertones in it and i am excited about this i've heard great things about this guy here so i'm i'm she's excited about that one all right <laughs> I picked up another beauty sponge from Eco Tools. This is their Bio Blender 100% biodegradable makeup sponge. I just, I saw it, I picked it up. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But Target also has a new makeup line and it's by Jason Wu. And very excited about that. It was kind of expensive though. I spent like, I think I spent like $75 on just these, what, six products five products i spent like 75 dollars like it was pretty expensive but um i don't know we're gonna try it we're gonna try it first thing i got is the it's so soft soft whipped makeup primer and i got it in the shade number two medium deep so this is a make shaded makeup primer so the primer is this color and it is supposed to be Let's see, all of his products are cruelty free, paraben free, they are sulfate free, synthetic fragrance free, talc free, and vegan. So Jason Wu's cosmetic line is a clean cosmetic line and this primer is supposed to be a light and airy tinted primer that minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines. So you can wear it alone or also under your primer. So almost like a, um tinted moisturizer to a certain degree so we got that i got the jason Wu micro brow pencil and i got that in the shade what shade we get you don't say child it do not say i don't know what shade i got but y'all gonna be seeing these products so i'll let y'all know i will also have them linked down below in the description box as well um, we got the Jason Wu. This is the eyeshadow primer. So I did pick up his eyeshadow primer as well. This one, this is what I was excited about. This is the Magic Matte Oil. What does that mean? I don't know, but we gotta swatch it and see. Like, <laughs> we gotta see. Cause I don't know what you do with a matte oil, but we gonna figure out how the oil is matte because that sounds like an oxymoron to me. Ooh, it's coming out the packaging a little bit, y'all. So this is the mattifying face oil. Let me just put it on my arm. No, it's, it don't feel oily at all. It don't feel oily or greasy at all. Wow. 
Okay, let's see. This magical oil transforms your face from oily to matte instantly. Experience the magical transformation yourself. Can be worn alone or under or alone or as a makeup primer. Dab a few drops with fingertips on your face. Allow the primer to set before applying makeup. Can also be used over your makeup to refresh your look. Y'all know how I love products like that. Ooh, I can't wait to try it. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Last product from Jason Wu is the Hot Fluff. What is this? This is the, it's called Hot Fluff. And it is for, oh, this is for your lips, eyes, and cheeks. Wait a minute, Jason. Jason might be onto something. Hold on, with all of these uh, transferable products that you can use everywhere. So it looks like so. So it looks like a lipstick, but apparently you can use it all over your face. That's the color right there. That would definitely be a gorgeous color on the cheeks. Yeah, definitely be gorgeous on the cheeks and the lips. And there's the packaging. It looks like a standard lipstick packaging. Okay, last but not least, I got one thing from the beauty spot store and then one thing actually from Amazon that I want to show you guys. So the one thing from the beauty supply store, I was actually at the store looking for some shampoo and stuff. And my mama was trying on some wigs, right? So we was at the beauty supply store and I saw that Kiss came out with a new cream foundation. So this is the Kiss Cover Plus Care Cream Foundation. And this one's in the shade Toffee. And it is a like real life cream foundation. So that's what it looks like. Let's make sure this is my shade because I couldn't tell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's my shade. I put it right here and it's gone. So that is my shade. So yeah, if you're looking for a drugstore cream foundation, that's it. This is flawless coverage while caring for your skin. Covers and controls acne with the most advanced salicylic acid bees. Hyperallergenic, oil-free, and anti-comedogenic. Covers uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, vitiligo, scars, birthmarks. Light oil-free formula gives beautiful coverage. So, let me see, it lasts all day, um, specifically perfect for people with acne prone or oily skin. That's what I was looking for because I feel like cream foundations can sometimes be kind of heavy and make your oils like pop out, but this, it definitely says it's full coverage. However, um, it says it's perfect for people with oily skin as well. So, another thing that I'm excited to try. And then last but not least, I got this from Amazon, right? So this is a brow tint. It's an at-home brow tint that I've been so afraid to use because I'm like, if I ruin my freaking brows, I'm gonna look cray cray, okay? So this is the Tint My Four Tip Brow. And the rest of it is in, I think like Chinese. So, uh, <laughs> with the directions being in Chinese, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know, honey. I think the whole box is in Chinese. Oh, no, no, no. This is in English. It's a four forked marker tint brow. Provides natural tanning effect on the eyebrow skin like my own eyebrow texture without smudge. I'm gonna have to try this on camera, okay? So I got it in the shade number four, gray brown. I'll make sure it's linked down below with everything else. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, so don't get mad at me if it don't work for you, okay? But um, we're gonna have to try this on, I don't know, we gotta try this on camera because I'm excited about this one. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is my ridiculously large makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you or entertaining so you can see what's new in the makeup world. Um, yeah, that's really it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching until the end and you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to sign up for Top Cash Back down below in the description box so you can save yourself some money, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.